All right, everybody. I don't think I've ever shot a video like this before, but what I want to show you guys is the next potential project that will be featured on this channel. Now, it's nothing like anything you've ever seen. We'll go ahead and check it out. Yes. You know what that is? That is a 1976 Ford LTD station wagon. Why? Why not? So, my friend and I, we bought it for a very, very cheap price. It didn't run, and we hauled it home. So, it has a few whiskey dents in the side, but the cool part about this car is that it's technically all original. So, it's this awful gold color on the outside, and the same gold color on the inside. So, it has a uh, Ford 400 V8 automatic transmission, but my favorite part about it is how mint the inside is. You can tell that we've already buffed that side of the hood versus that. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of the color back. Since it's like a pastel color, it's not really gonna be super shiny, but it's gonna be awesome. So it was last tagged in 2005, and there's my vet right there. So I've come here to work on it just a little bit while my friends at work. But the cool part about this car is the inside. Check this out. So inside here, basically the only thing we're gonna have to do is the carpet, and that's it. Let's unlock the front. So it was owned by a little lady, literally, that uh, only drove it to church. I mean, if you look, there's no power locks, there's no power windows. It does have AC, power steering, and power brakes. But I mean, we haven't touched really the inside at all. I mean, it's totally as we bought it. I mean. It's so ugly, it's awesome. So it came with a whole bunch of extra parts. Let me show you this headliner. That's one of my favorite parts about it. It starts here, and goes all the way back to there. It does have the uh, jump seats that are in the back. I think that door's locked, so I can't open that hatch. I'll go show those to you anyway. So. If you can see in there, there's seats that pop up out of the hatch for your kids. So technically it's a nine passenger wagon. The other part about the thing is cool is that this window actually uh, rolls up and down. And also this tailgate, it folds flat out like this and it also swings open depending on what you want to load. So let me go ahead and show you guys underneath the hood. So here we have under the hood. What we've done already, basically we threw a battery in it and we saw that we have turn signals, headlights, high beams, brake lights, hazards. So all the lights work. But as of right now, the car doesn't run. It did come with a brand new gas tank. Um, I believe we need to rebuild the carburetor and put on a fuel pump in order to get it to run. So yep, it's a Ford 400. The guy already did plugs and wires, all the ignition stuff. Um, hopefully he did that right. It has new belts on it. So it has the important options, power steering, power brakes, and AC. Other than that, really it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have the wood panels, you know, the stuff like that. It doesn't have the headlight covers or anything like that, but I think it's going to make a sweet cruiser. We plan on actually putting wood paneling on it just to make it uglier than it already is. So hopefully... If we are really, really lucky, what we'll be able to do is take it on a road trip. And guess what? I'll be making videos on that. So here's my vet. I haven't driven it in probably about two weeks, but today I decided to wash it, clean out the inside, and drive it around all day. So that's going to be my, my ride for today. It's going to be my convertible. Right now I have the vinyl hardtop on it, which looks awesome. The only issue I have with it is that since I put the new seats in, and since I put this hardtop on, I had lost about two inches of headspace. So I don't fit very well in it with the new stuff on, but it's sweet. Sorry about all the road nose. I'm next to a big old road. So here's three, three cars that you definitely do not see every day, especially this one. <laughs> so here is the, uh, if you guys have followed me on Instagram, you've seen... Um, a few pictures of this and I figured I'd snap a video of it the reason being is because it is sold and going to Sweden so some Swede is gonna get it and he's gonna take awesome care of it so this is a 1958 Dodge Royal sedan and what I like about this car is that it is all original from top to bottom so all this blue paint that you see all the chrome and stuff like that 
is totally original. Let's see if it's open and I can get in it. Yep, it is cool. So this car, we did a lot of work too. Sadly, it's been over here, so I haven't been able to take many videos of it. But I mean, look at that dash. That dash is all original paint. The door panels and this back seat. I mean, just beautiful, all original stuff. And that's probably why the Swedish guy really wanted it. So this car is awesome. Automatic transmission. It's got the little push buttons on the side of the dash. Um, it's a, a three... 25 inch cubic inch motor, I believe. Let's see if I can get the hood open. So here is the engine. Red Ram. So to get this car running, we basically did a car rebuild, a full tune-up, oil change, um, a little bit of the cooling system we redid. We had the biggest part was tires, suspension, and brakes. Um, also, we had to replace the whole transmission in it. Why? Well, because the rebuilt one that it came with didn't last more than about 30 miles and it died. So, yep, that's this car. It's a pretty neat car, but I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited for this one. <laughs> so, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes shining up the bumpers on that just because I don't have much time before I go to work. But, hopefully, in two weeks we will have more videos on that car now I can't promise that we're gonna be able to uh, take it on that road trip but we're gonna try as hard as we can to get it to that point so we're gonna have to do brakes we're gonna have to do ignition we have to do tires and a little bit of troubleshooting and hopefully we can get it back on the road into drivable shape I know it needs some exhaust work probably shocks and you know just expendable things like that so there it is hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching my video so just because I can I know you guys want to see better work on this car than what I'm doing right now but I want to show you guys this back bumper so this is how we bought it this is basically just rust and oxidation from the car sitting and if you look right here this spot right here is what I have already cleaned but here's a trick I did not use this polish. I used something way cheaper than that. It is a uh, fine steel wool right there. And our favorite, WD-40. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I did not bring my tripod, sadly. So let's do this part right here, it's really bad. Go ahead and spray it down. And I'm just gonna take this piece of steel wool. We're just gonna scrub. Now I can't promise this is gonna bring back all you guys' chrome, but this is a trick I did not know about, and I'm enjoying it because guess what? It's cheaper than that polish. Let's see what that did. Oh, very nice. So I got the all that color off of it. Um, you guys can't. It's hard to tell in pictures how really how good the chrome is. Well, there's still, there's a bunch of scratches. Obviously, it's a back bumper, but it doesn't have that color on it anymore. So it definitely looks a lot better than it did. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scrub it all down. Isn't that cool? Yep. They don't do that anymore. There's another one right there. Bunch of cool old stuff on this car. So there's a little sneak peek for you guys.